Clean drinking water. We all need it to survive and sometimes it's hard to come by. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I converted this dollar store UBC wand into a very nice compact UBC water disinfection unit for hiking, camping, and much more. This unit here was purchased at my local Dollar Tree and because it was such an incredible deal, I purchased five. Converting this unit only took about an hour and a half of my time and a total cost of just under four bucks. And that's a huge difference in price from a SteriPen or other brands. First, let's take a look at the unmodified UVC wand. Best results hold one to two inches away, 10 to 20 seconds. And the good thing about this unit, it's going to beep every 10 seconds. So you'll know how long the exposure is when you use this to treat the water. Warning, do not look directly into the light. And it's also an excellent idea to wear glasses like you see right here. They're inexpensive and they're gonna protect your eyes from UVA, B, and C exposure. So let's take this right over here. Open this up. Right here's your battery door. I believe this takes four AAA batteries. And what I really liked about this unit when I saw it, which gave me the vision for the water treatment, is how it folds open. As you can see right here, you have a tube. That's where the UVC light's going to be emanating from. And over here, you can see there's a little tiny button. The purpose of that button is unless this is opened, the unit cannot be turned on. So if you push this button, all right, the light will not turn on unless this is folded open and then you would see that tube light up. Now the first thing I want to do is pop this whole cover off because in order to do the modification this entire piece of plastic needs to be removed. The way to do that is very simple. Take a very tiny slot screwdriver, a jeweler's screwdriver and you're going to reach between the outside edge and the space all along here. You can also take a single edge razor blade, insert it into that space and very carefully pop it off. You want to be very careful not to crack the plastic down here. I'm going to be reusing that. And also be very careful you do not hit that tube and damage the tube. Just pull up on this, it should pop off. Okay. And you can see exactly how that popped off. Now what you need to do with this cover, in order to use it for the new wand, you're going to take a single edge razor, and right at this location, right here, place it on a table, chop that off, and you can do the same on this side, make a cut right there. You want to be left with just this piece of plastic in my hand, and this entire section here is no longer going to be used. The tube is just laying inside. You can lift up very gently on the end with your fingernail. Inside this tube is a very small amount of mercury, so you want to be careful not to break the tube. The way the UVC wand works, when the light is exposed to microbes, it could be parasites, bacteria, algae, viruses, it does not immediately kill them. What it does, it damages the cell wall, and as a result, the bacteria or parasites are no longer able to multiply. What is very important is that there's enough exposure at a close enough distance. As you can see, you can't be using this in water the way it's set up, so I'm going to show you the modification in a minute to protect this tube. But you do need long enough exposure, and between 45 seconds and one minute is usually sufficient. The next step to convert, you're going to pop out this reflector that's in here. It'll make it easier for you when you do the cutting. So just pop that out. With that out of the way, the next thing you need to do is cut this entire piece very short. To determine where the plastic is going to be cut nice and even from one side around to the opposite side, you're going to take the piece of plastic where you trimmed it right here and there. You're going to pop it back in and you're going to see that it ends in a certain spot. You're going to mark it. And then what I did is I used a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to make a nice clean cut all the way around. You can use a 32 tooth per inch hacksaw blade. Just make a nice clean cut when you're done. Sand all the edges. 
In order to make this a waterproof tube, what you're going to have to do is slide a glass envelope over this tube. Now, ordinary glass will block UVC light. The same goes for plastic, acrylic. So you cannot use glass, you cannot use plastic. What you're going to need to use is what you see right over here. And this is a quartz tube. It's fused quartz. The outside diameter is just under a half of an inch or 12 millimeters. And the inside, you can see the wall thickness, it's one millimeter. So the outside is 12, the wall thickness is one, so that's one and two. That leaves 10 millimeters on the inside. Fused quartz will allow the great majority, probably 80 to 90% of the UVC light, to pass through this glass envelope into the water. Now just to show you how nicely this slides over the tube, Look at this. I mean, this could not be made any better for this project. When I purchased these tubes, they came five in a pack, cut 12 inches long or 30 centimeters. Using one of those tubes, you can make three UVC disinfection wands. So it comes out to $1.50 for the section of quartz that I'm going to be using to modify the wand. Right here, you can see how the wand's been cut shorter with the plastic in position and just the tube hanging out. When you measure the quartz tube to cut it, you want to make sure it's three quarters of an inch or around 20 millimeters longer than the tube itself. So measuring from the end here to the end there. Once you mark the tube in the correct location, you're going to make a line all the way around the tube. And the easiest way to cut it is using a Dremel with a very tiny diamond cutoff wheel. Simply cut all around the edge. Keep going until you're almost through and then it can easily snap. Once it's snapped, you can take the diamond cutoff wheel, spin it against the end of the tube, and it will make it nice and smooth. You will not have any sharp edges. Once the quartz tube is in position over the UVC lamp, the next step is to seal the ends. The way to do that is using food grade silicone clear. You can also use regular silicone because when the silicone cures, it is non-toxic, but food grade silicone is recommended. One end, you're going to take a cap like you see right here, nothing more than a nylon cap, and you can cut it shorter here. You don't need all the space. Trim it right there. You're going to put a bunch of silicone around it and push it into the end. The other end of the lamp, you're simply going to inject with silicone, and then you're going to lay it to the side overnight to cure. The next step is to get that quartz tube into the correct position in the holder and siliconed in position. The part of the handle that you cut shorter is going to have to be ground just a little bit larger in diameter. What I did is I took a grinding stone with the Dremel, increased the diameter. Once it was done, I then injected silicone into the base, slid in the quartz tube, smoothed everything out, and taped it in position and allowed it to sit overnight. Right here is a look at the completed unit, and over here is the original unmodified. Let me give you a quick demonstration. There's a lot of different cups that you can use to treat the dirty water. The one I have right here is ideal. The reason why it's ideal is because the inside is stainless steel and it's highly reflective. So when the UVC tube is placed inside the dirty water, you're going to have the UVC light bouncing off of these stainless steel walls and it's gonna help with the exposure of the UVC light to the water inside. It's also a good idea to place the water inside, give it a little bit of a swirl, get some motion going before you place the wand inside. So let me put some water in here because what I'm going to do is also place this cover on top and there's an opening right here which happens to be perfect for the UVC wand. The cover's made out of acrylic so UVC light has a very difficult time passing through this cover. Because the majority of that tube is going to be inside underneath this cover, there's going to be very little UVC light leaking out, but it is a great idea to be using glasses if you have them. Right here, take the tube, insert it. And I could turn the light off here so you can see it better. Then you're going to leave it in there for about 45 seconds to a minute. 
That's 10 seconds. It's going to beep every 10. After four to six beeps, you're going to be good. Simply push the button, turn it off, wipe off the tube, and you're ready to drink your water. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thanks for watching.